All new at five, an exclusive interview with the National Pandemic Fraud Coordinator for the Secret Service. Special Agent Roy Dotson Jr. says members of the Cyber Task Force are tracking hundreds of leads connected to billions of dollars in stolen, uh, stolen unemployment benefits. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld spoke with Dotson from his Jacksonville office. Every state has been hit some harder than others. Special Agent Roy Dotson Jr. is the National Pandemic Fraud Coordinator for the U.S. Secret Service, the point man in a sweeping effort to track stolen pandemic benefits coast to coast. How much money are we talking about? Billions. Billions that they're targeting? Yes. Dotson, based in Jacksonville, Florida, tells News 6 pandemic fraud has created a pipeline of stolen state and federal benefits estimated to be in the range of tens of billions of dollars. Included in those losses, unemployment benefits from Florida's own Department of Economic Opportunity. If we look at that specifically here in the state of Florida, how widespread is it? It's pretty substantial. I think the numbers have been out there probably in the area of $2 billion. For Dotson and the Cyber Task Force here in Orlando and across the country, the biggest challenge is tracking the lost money with the DEO and the Department of Labor. Secret Service currently has over 1,500 active criminal investigations going on. Now that's a combination of all types of pandemic benefits, so not just unemployment insurance. Those benefits programs are the product of COVID-19, a necessary financial lifeline targeted by cyber thieves in the United States and globally. One of the currencies of choice, Bitcoin. It was widely used. Faster money means faster crime. You know, ever since that I find out my identity has been stolen, I, I don't feel the same anymore. As we first reported, residents here in Florida and across the country may soon learn their names have been used to collect benefits they never applied for. That'll come at tax time. We're going out there and hitting the ground and trying to recover everything we can, um, whether it's U.S. or state uh, government funds that have been stolen. The Secret Service tells News 6 they've been able to recover, quote, a substantial amount of those benefits already. But there's a lot still out there. Of the 1,500 cases, we know that's just the beginning. In fact, by 2022, after tax time, those numbers could double or even triple. Mike Holfeld, Getting Results, News 6.